All right, one of those big three compound movements is the bench press. Bench press is awesome for anyone to do, especially women. I mean, a lot of us avoid working out the chest, but it's important to really work the entire body and get a complete total package. So for the bench press, there are four possible things you might need um, to get ready before you do the bench press. Number one, um, let's start with some shoes. I like to wear my squat shoes when I bench. The reason being is that when you lie down on the bench, you're pressing with your feet and you're creating a good strong base through your feet in order to um, press that the weight up. So if your feet are sliding, then you're going to be very unstable and you're not going to feel as strong pressing the weight up. So wearing some squat shoes or some chucks or something that are going to kind of keep you a little bit more stable is going to be your best option. So see if you can get some shoes. Um, another thing you might need is some wrist wraps. Now the wrist wraps are really awesome. You just wrap them nice and tight around your wrist from here and then you want it to go just above the wrist as well across the wrist joint. And what that's going to do is going to allow you to feel a little more, more stable when you're holding the bar. Because if you think about it, your wrist is going to, it's not going to be neutral, it might be a little bit extended when you're doing the bench press. So if you have those wrists wrapped, you're going to feel stronger, more stable, and able to press more weight probably. Thirdly, you might want to have some lifting pads. A lot of people don't use these, but since I'm a physical therapist, I'm using my hands all day, I really don't like to have those calluses build up. So I like to use lifting pads whenever I'm lifting any weights at the gym, and it just helps me keep my hands a little bit smoother and gives me a better grip on the bar. And then lastly, some people like to use chalk when they bench press. That's completely up to you. You can use it on your hands, or some people will put it on their upper back so they don't slide up on the bench as they're doing their press. So anyways, there's the four things you might need to get ready before you start your bench. Now let's move on and talk about how to set up for the bench press. All right, setting up for the bench press. Let's start from the bottom and work upward. So you're gonna lie down on the bench, obviously. Um, you wanna get your feet nice and stable first. So instead of having your legs and knees straight out, you're gonna have to bend those knees, draw those feet in towards you. Almost like you're doing like a bridge. You know when you lie down and you lift your hips up, that bridging movement, you almost wanna feel like you're preparing for a bridge when you lie down on the bench. Once that's all set, then let's work on the shoulder blades. You always want to retract and depress those scapula. So instead of having them rounded, reaching for the bar, you need to retract and have them down. With that retraction, it's going to allow you to kind of puff your chest out a little bit and create a little bit of an arch in your back. What that's going to do is minimize the amount of space from the bar to your chest. Whereas if you were just flat, it would be here giving that little puff, retracting, minimizes the space. It's gonna allow you to press more weight for sure. So get the scapula set, then you're gonna reach out for the bar. You wanna hold um, right around where those rings are on the bar. All right, kinda grip your thumb underneath, loop it under, and then you should be all set for the bench. All right, execution of the bench press. Let's go through this together with proper breathing. So, you got the bar up there, you're all nice and set. Here you go. It's gonna be an inhale to unrock the bar. Hold your breath as you lower that bar down towards your chest. Press it back up and exhale. Once again, inhale. Hold your breath as you bring it down. Up and exhale. And each time you do that, you're trying to bring that bar just to about the nipple line or so. If you go too high or too low, it's compromising to the shoulders and you're going to feel weaker. So try and reach for right about here with the bar each time and you should be good to go. There are two common mistakes I see in the gym pretty often. Number one, a lot of people tend to bounce the bar off their chest too much. Now a little bit of bounce is okay and expected, but bouncing it so much to the point where I'm looking over thinking, man, they're going to crush their sternum at any second. That's a little scary, unsafe, not the best option, and then you're just using more momentum than you are using strength. So, tiny bit of bounce is okay, 
but for the most part, you should be able to control that bar the whole time with your own strength. The second um, most common mistake I see is just the position, position in which you're holding the bar. Some people hold it way too wide, and that's when they put themselves into a compromised position to tear a pack or something like that. So try not to hold it too wide, should be fairly narrow, and the elbows, when you're doing your bench press, shouldn't be out too wide either. Keep them slightly in, and that's gonna make it a lot safer and prevent injuries for you in the future. So you guys should be all set to start the bench press.